Hey guys, what's up? It's Sherry. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, I have changed my hair yet again. I know that I just did my hair. I just cut my bangs. I bleached it. I toned it. I just feel like it's a never-ending cycle when it comes to my hair. I always feel like I want to do something new to it. Like I mentioned in one of my other videos, my hair is basically my canvas. And you guys are probably wondering like you did just cut your bangs right where's your bangs but it's here um i kind of brushed it to the side i still have my bangs as you guys can see right here but i really haven't been wearing it as bangs i've always been clipping it back or just kind of like parting it i don't know i just feel like it works on me some on some days and some days i just wasn't feeling it and today i'm just not feeling the bang situation so i just kind of styled it and kept it swept on the side here you probably can see some pieces peeking out here but we'll just try to ignore that today so i've been wanting to cut my hair for a while and this is the day that i share with you guys how i cut my hair yet again i if you guys can also notice that it's a little bit longer here you're probably thinking your hair salon even I did that purposely. I wanted to just kind of have it a little bit longer in the front over here. That being said, let me show you guys how I cut my hair. All right, guys. So this is my hair. It is pretty long and those ends are super dry. Hence why I'm going to be doing this cut. As always, I'm going to be brushing out my hair to remove any knots that I may have. And now I am somewhat going to part my hair down the middle. And don't mind my spiky bangs here. I'm just going to take a clip and clip them down. Now I'm going to start by taking a small section of my hair and I'm just going to clip everything out of the way. To start this cut, I'm going to pinch my hair in between my fingers, making sure to keep it as tight and as close to my neck as possible when I cut it. And then I'm going to glide my fingers down to determine the length that I'm going to cut my hair at. So these scissors that I'm using here are from Sake Shears. I will post their website in my description box if you want to go and check them out. And also don't forget I have a coupon code for you guys to use if you guys want to save some money. After finding the length, I'm going to carefully cut above my fingers. I'm not going to lie though guys, this cut definitely felt so good to get rid of all of that hair. Now I'm going to take those scissors and point cut the ends of my hair to soften it up a little bit. Point cutting helps get rid of the blunt straight edges, the edges that I obviously do not want to have. And basically I'm just going to repeat the same steps as I did on the other side. So just a quick disclaimer, I am not a professional hairstylist. I have been doing my own hair for many years and that's just the way I prefer it. So if you guys are in any doubt at all when cutting your hair, please do seek a professional but if you are comfortable enough by all means cut your own hair but don't say i didn't warn you if something goes wrong as i bring the next layers down i'm going to brush the hair straight down and i'm going to use the previous cut layers as a guide to cutting
can see that I have some long pieces near the middle. So what I'm going to do is split my hair up in three sections and then take that middle section and I'm basically just going to bring it out to the side. And as I bring that out to an angle, I'm basically going to trim off some of the length and I'm going to cut upwards in an angle. Cutting up in that angle will help create the even length at the back. You see that it is a little bit more even. It takes a little bit of time to understand and to get used to how I'm cutting it, but if you have patience, it all comes together, guys. Now it's time for the rest of the hair. For the front, I want to have it a little bit longer, so I'm going to take my hair razor from the same Saki Shear kit. And you guys know what I'm gonna say. The link to the website will be down in my description box down below. Um, you might be thinking that my hair looks a little bit lighter but that is because after cutting my hair I washed my hair and I used purple shampoo left it on there for a while so it just kind of toned it a little bit I have a little bit of gray spots in some parts of my hair with my hair short like this I normally would wear it curl I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like straight because I know a lot of people are like oh she curled it because she's hiding the imperfections on there you know it's not even yada 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 I heard it all and 
I'm not a perfectionist, so there you go. But I tried to do as best as I could. Every time you bring your hair forward, it's kind of like cutting layered forms in a way because if you take your hair how I did and then you bring it forward and every time you cut it straight like this, if you bring it back, you're gonna have like that angle. So I did try, as you guys saw in the video, I did try to take my hair and just cut off that angle in the way that I shared with you guys and um, it kind of, it did work. It did work. If I can just turn around and share with you guys what it looked like, hopefully you guys can see it. So this is what the back of my hair looks like. As you guys can see, don't really have much of that angle going on. I tried to cut it so it's as straight as I could get it, but um, yeah, that is it. And then I just kind of have it angled downwards there. Just this part right here is just a little bit longer. I don't know. I just wanted to see what it looked like. I might just go ahead and cut it off so everything is even. But you know what? Like I said, my hair is my canvas. I play around with it to see what things look like, what styles look like. If I don't like it, I can always cut it off, change it. And that's the beauty of having hair and doing it yourself. If you're not scared, if you're not like worried that it's going to you're gonna ruin it. Like for me, I'm not worried at all because I feel comfortable enough to do my own hair. If you guys are wondering what that thing over there is, really it's not a thing, it's my dog. She's tired right now. Let me see if I can call it over. Oh, come here baby, come. She's coming, come here, come say hi. Oh, oh there's a hanger there, this is my doggy. This is my baby Chaco. Well, that's her nickname. It's Pachaco, it's her full name. So her name is Pachaco, but we call her Chaco. And I love her. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Woo! Don't forget, if you guys did enjoy it, to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And to make it a little bit better for you guys, please hit that notification bell so that you guys can know when I have my new video posted. Also, check me out on social media. I'm mostly on Instagram and Facebook. So make sure to follow me on there. It's Sherry Adam Webo, just like the name here on YouTube. Everything is the same, just to make it easier. Other than that, guys, I think that is about it. And yeah, I just want to say I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!